Ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and I am immigration lawyer in Italy. I have been practicing immigration for more than 15 years. I actually have another YouTube channel, which recently arrived to more than 100k subscribers. So if you are a Russian speaker, I suggest you to go and check also this YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna talk about a very interesting topic, which mistake you should avoid when you're planning to immigrate in Italy. There are some tips and tricks, some mistakes that usually my clients arrive to me and then already have made. And there is basically one very simple solution to avoid all these mistakes in one. So the first mistake and the first common problem that I match when some clients come to me for a consultation is that the clients already arrived in Italy. Remember every time that in order to do a plan to immigrate in Italy, you have to think before. So you cannot come and enter into Italy and then try to get a residency permit when you are here. Yes, surely there are some residency permits that can be applied in Italy, but those are very particular specific questions. So you can get married in Italy and get a family reunion in Italy. You can give a birth to a child and have a family reunion with the child if the child and the kid lives enough here in Italy. So if the kid stays here for more than six months, you can basically be granted with a residency permit by accompanying this minor, or you can apply for some specific peculiar residency permit, which are asylum, political asylum and refugee. But it's a very, you know, particular stuff for very specific situation. All other residency permit, which actually I was talking to you before in another video, there are more than 26 residency permit, investment, business open, opening labor law, also family reunion, opening of branches, just living in Italy as a wealthy person, all these residency permit have to be applied before in the provincial country, I don't know, New York, Washington, Canada, wherever. There you have to be granted with a visa type D, D as David, I remember every time this, and then, only then, when the visa D is stuck to your passport, you can come to Italy and apply for the residency permit. Very common mistake that I see with many clients is that they start to think about immigration, they come to a lawyer, and then they realize they already spent so much time and wasted so much time because they didn't think about some specific things and documents that are needed for the immigration. First of all, every type of immigration you do in Italy, think about this before. You need to have a lodging. So you need to have a rental agreement or a property. I'm not advising my client to buy straight away a property in Italy because this is a very, you know, specific decision. It takes time to understand what you like, which area of Italy you like to live. But every time you apply for everything, you need to have an apartment because Italy, even when you collect the documents and even when you're applying for visa, needs to know that you are mandatory, have a lodging that gonna host you. Sometimes, but that's not very common, you can avoid this by having a reservation from an Airbnb or maybe an hotel, but usually you need to think before. In order to have a lodging, of course, you have to think even more in advance because in order to rent an official agreement and an apartment that you can provide to the consulate in order to your visa to be granted, you have to have a fiscal code. So every person, every American person, for example, can rent an agreement even without having a visa, that's not a problem. We can, by the way, help you to find a good apartment to check it for you and all the accompanying with the rental agreement itself. But before renting an agreement, you need to have a fiscal code. So very simply, first, you should always try to get from the Italian consulate in the city where you're living, the fiscal code. Then you have to think about the lodging. Then you have to think about getting the visa. And only then, last step, you come to Italy, you apply for the residency permit. And as I advised you in the beginning of this video, how do you solve this? You come to me and you book one consultation, which our standard price is 300 euros, no more than this. We spend one hour, one hour and a half, doesn't matter how much long it takes, I guarantee you that I explain you all these steps specifically all by one. So my aim, my purpose of the consultation is to explain you specifically how to immigrate. We decide together which plan fits better your needs, your situation and I give you all specific plan of how to do it. Of course, as an immigration law firm, we can take care of all the immigration process from the beginning, even to the 10 years after to getting you the citizenship. That's not a problem at all. All this planning 
believe me, it's absolutely necessary to book one paid consultation so you can take all this explanation that can take it for you. I usually pretty much elastic contrary to the standard. So even if you have some questions that I usually know will come after the consultation, please, we book up consultation, you are already my client. So even after there are some following up questions, I'm pretty much happy to reply to them. So for today, we're done. Thank you so much. I really would like appreciate a like and please a subscription to my YouTube channel. Any question I'm available in the comments below, you will see my WhatsApp number. So you can write me any moment to book a consultation. Thank you for the you and have a nice day. Bye.